logarithms, we are able to find the logarithms of numbers that can be made by products, powers, or quotients of other values that we know the logarithm of given a specific base. In this video, we're going to look at some examples that actually utilize those properties of logarithms. So here it says let log base b of 5 be approximately equal to 0 0.827. Let log base b of 9 be approximately equal to 1.129. And let log base b of 4 be approximately equal to 0 0.712. So that's our given information. For that particular base b, we know the logarithm of those three numbers. Now here we are asked to find in these different parts. The first one is log base b of 45. Well, log base b of 45, when I look at 45, I try to think, is there a multiplication, division, or powers of the numbers that I know the logarithms of for that particular base that would create the value 45? Because our properties of logarithms, I'll deal with that. Well, 45 is 5 times 9. So I can write this as the log base b of 5 times 9. And then when I have the logarithm of a product, that is the logarithm of the first factor plus the logarithm of the second factor. Remember, logarithms are exponents. And when we have the exponent on a multiplication when we have the same base, we keep the base and we add the exponents. So it's going to be log base b of 5 plus log base b of 9. Now once I've used my properties of logarithms to do that, I can look up in the given information and I see that the log base b of 5 is one of my given values. That value, log base b of 5, is approximately 0.827. Plus the log base b of 9 is another one of the values that I know. It's 1.129. And so when I add these together, I get 1.956. So that's what my log base b of 45 is, is 1.956. Let's go to the next one. Here, it's the log base b of 25 ninths. Well, it's already written as a quotient. And remember, the logarithm of a quotient is the logarithm of the numerator minus the logarithm of the denominator. So we have log base b of 25 minus the log base b of 9. Now, when I look at my given information, I don't have a log base b of 25. I do have a log base b of 9, so that one I'll be able to actually replace it. But 25 is 5 squared, and I do have a log base b of 5. So we're going to write this as log base b of 5 squared minus, and I'm going to leave this one as a log base b of 9. I don't want to go to 3 squared on 9 because I don't know the log base b of 3, but I do know the log base b of 9. So with our properties of logarithms, when I have the logarithm of a quantity to a power, the power comes down as a factor in front of the logarithms. So it's 2 times the log base b of 5 minus the log base b of 9. So that's 2 times. My log base b of 5 is 0 0.827. And my log base b of 9 is 1.129. So that gives me 1.654 minus 1.129, which is about equal to 0 0.525. Okay, next up, log base b of 2. I look, and again, I don't have a log base b of 2. But 2 is something that I can get to by the log base b of 4. So if I have the log base b of 4 is approximately equal to 0 0.712, and I know 4 is 2 squared,
and by properties of logarithms, I can bring the factor, the exponent of 2 on the base of 2 out front as a factor. And now dividing both sides by 2 to solve for the log base b of 2, I get log base b of 2 is about 0 0.3. Five, six. Okay, how about the next one? Log base b of 10. Well, 10 I can write as the multiplication 5 times 2. And I have a log base b of 5 in my setup, and I just got a approximation for the log base b of 2 from the previous part. So this is the log base b of 2 to um, times 5 to get your 10, but the log base b of a multiplication is the log base b of the first factor 2 plus the log base b of the second factor 5. Log base b of 2 is approximately 0 0.356. Log base b of 5 is approximately 0 0.827. So I get... about 1.183. Okay, log base b of 1 fifth here. I can write that's the log base b of a quotient. So that's the log of the numerator minus the log of the denominator. And again, if you've forgotten what the properties of logarithms are and then uh, um, each of these things that we're doing, go back to a previous video that talks about the properties of logarithms and review that so that a lot of this um, flows a little bit more comfortably for you. Okay, now log base b of 1. Think about it this way. What exponent would you put on b to get the number 1? Because remember, logarithms are exponents. It's the exponent you put on the base to get that value. Well, the exponent I put on b to get 1 is 0. And log base b of 5 I have in my setup. So that's 0 minus 0 0.827. So I get a negative 0 0.827.